Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode four of Ted the Series. We're going to go ahead and hop into this one, guys. So if you want to see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you got a member of the channel, get you access as well. It's a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes and react to the entire episode. Get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover in the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got all the QAs, behind scenes footage, you try to make it worth your while. So you're always support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this reaction, at least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, because it really helps these videos out. And with that all said, out of the way. Let's go ahead and hop into episode four, Subways, Bicycles and Automobiles. Here we go. How many we got? Well, let's see, we got 20 cottons, 12 eggs in each. It's gotta be like 20 dozen eggs, right? Do you think we're getting too old for this? Oh, come on, Johnny, we're doing a public service here. If a kid leaves the house in a less than stellar Halloween costume, he's gotta get the bad news before he makes a fool of himself all over town. Oh, check it out, there's one. Hey, nice costume, fuckface. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? I'm the Hulk. Yeah, no, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> the Hulk doesn't have a fucking picture of the Hulk on his chest. Yeah, the Hulk shirt doesn't say the Hulk on it. Yeah, if you gotta tell us you're the Hulk, it's already a failed narrative. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. This poor kid. Yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah, go back to Walgreens and smash there. <laughs> hey, you ever notice how the Hulk only talks about himself in the third person? I know, he's like Bob Dole. Bob Dole. How much time we got? Uh, couple hours. What do you want to do? Scary movie? Scary movie. Oh, what are we going to watch? Wait, what the hell? Where's Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Hey, hey, Blair. The only good one. I thought you were going to rent scary movies. I did. Walt Disney's Watcher in the Woods? What the fuck? Chainsaws are lazy and obvious. This is cerebral, and it's a really scary movie. I've never Walt seen Disney? it. Early 80s Disney, the dark period. Oh, what dark period? It's fucking Disney. You'll be scared. Oh, come on, I saw Aladdin. I was fine. I wasn't sitting there like, oh, no, fucking Jafar. You know, we're not kids anymore, Blair. <laughs> yeah. I haven't cried last four haircuts. Yeah. I'm using deodorant now. Yeah. Fine. I dare you to watch it. See if it doesn't mess you up. Fine. No problem. Sure. I'm curious now. What was it called? No, 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 no. no I don't like this. This is not no. good. No. 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 <laughs> Never looking in a mirror again. Me neither. Fucking God. I'm never gonna be able to shave. Yeah, thanks, Blair. Now he's gonna have to grow a mustache. Oh, that's gonna limit my career choices. Yeah, he's gonna have to be a cop or a fireman. Oh, those are dangerous <laughs> jobs. Yeah, what if he gets killed? God, Blair, you're such a fucker. Well, next time don't be so smug about your cocky. Yeah, why's the black guy always die? No, it's fine. I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, is that kind of racist? Seems like it. They should have only white people in those movies. Oh yeah, so then the black guys won't get killed. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Blair, we just came up with a great way to make movies less racist. Sharon is conscientiously objecting to this costume party tonight, so I need a designated driver. Can you do it? Me? No, not tonight. Well, I can't drive myself. I'll be full of jello shots. So you have a few drinks. Big deal. Y you know what nobody ever talks about with drunk driving? How fun it is. John doesn't have his license yet, and you oh, have a video game. You no. For what? I took the heat when Aunt Suze found the porno you guys rented. What do I care? She's not my mom. My mom's an 11 year old kid in China with arthritis. How do you know that? Because she sewed a note in my leg that says she's never had a vegetable. Come on, Ted, please, you gotta drive me. It's oh my plans. God. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower and fluff myself so I can be in a confident headspace to shame trick or treaters. The cuter I look, the worse they feel. I mean, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Ah, where's the goddamn conditioner? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Could have hit him with the psycho. Jesus Christ! Drag me to the party. I said no. Is it warm in here? Yeah, it is kind of warm. Yeah, it feels like somebody turned up the heat. I'm gonna check the thermostat. No, wait. What? It's a Her. trap. It's fucking Blair. You open that door, she's gonna be right there with a fucking blindfold. Yeah. I'll open a window. It's the Blair bitch project. Oh my god! That is commitment! Did you finish it, Oh Oh look at him! He's a little easy walk! And she's a fucking cat woman. Blair, you're a Batman. Close. Catwoman. Okay. And Ted, you're Lawrence of Arabia. 
Yeah, that's exactly right. All right, now don't worry, Johnny. I'll be back by nine. I have a fun surprise for you. What is it? I've hidden a heat bar somewhere in this house. Can I get a hint? Oh, I can't do this to you. It's in the hamper. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, man. Waldo, found him. Hey. Want a drink? I can't. I'm driving. Oh, too bad. I always wanted to do a shot with a teddy bear. Fuck it. I'm not driving yet. Uh, oh, no, dude. I always wanted to smoke weed with a teddy bear. Oh, my God. No. I always wanted to smoke my ADHD meds with a teddy bear. <laughs> Maddie! Get the bastard tracing! The bastard tray? Why? An ostrich bit me. What the fuck? I, I was installing a fence for a guy over in Boxford, and he, he keeps ostriches. Doesn't want him getting past the property line, and one of them bit me on the fucking ass! Hey, Mom, do we have any more chip? Uh! Take a long look, Johnny. This is what life is. <laughs> Want to see something what terrifying? the Watch fuck? This. Everybody wave your arms. Everybody jump in the air. Let's invade Poland. <laughs> see that? That's the Milgram experiment. That's how it starts with dancing. The dad from Footloose was right. <laughs> Jesus. That's another movie I still have never seen. You're fucking drunk. Well, so are you. Yeah, well, that was the plan. <sighs> Sorry. Dude, nothing will sober me up than my DD being drunk as shit. The one time I went out with anybody, our D&D got sloshed within like 15 minutes of being there. Ooh, I was so fucking pissed. <laughs> I went from having a damn good time, having a good buzz, to just being like, fwing! How are you? Good, good, feeling sharp. Feeling sharp. Shut the Come up to the house for a minute. Something I'd like to talk to you about. I just went to the store. I could whip us up a little caprese salad. Yeah, yeah, sure. I love salad. Oh, well, well, wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, you're invited too, Ted. Uh, See a few? Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I promised Johnny I'd be home by nine. You clearly don't know who that is. The Lucas Damon, who also happens to be a New York Times bestselling novelist. That was the novel about a guy who couldn't afford a car. <laughs> Let's go to the <laughs> He's looking for a student research assistant for his next book. Literally everybody wants this job. I love salad. See, I knew you were lying. Nobody loves salad. You're on death row. Your last meal. You can have a steak or a salad. I'm going to choose a salad. Fuck you. You're getting a steak. After what you did to that family, the baby's ear was on the ceiling. I've been doing this job 20 years. I never seen anything so horrible. What? Ah, oh, Christ, I'm fucked up. Yeah, it's good you're- Wow. <laughs> hey, great salad, by the way. I love that there are no croutons. Hey, can I maybe uh, have a different can of Schweppes that's not 85 degrees? <laughs> <laughs> I'll freshen our drinks. Ted, I'm sure Blair's warned you. I'm the fun professor. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you shitting me? What? What do you mean, what? We're sitting here wasting time because this fucking horn dog just wants to bang you. Excuse me? He invites you to his place. He gets you drunk. Okay, I'm not drunk. What are you talking about? Like, I love you came no pre-drunk. When polite. did you become you fucking try anti-crouton just for this butt night? Trying to make his <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this is the first time he's seen you dressed like this as opposed to your usual fashion, which is basically Melissa Etheridge at a flea market. <laughs> Here we go, more wine, or should we be naughty and start on the cognac? Yeah, listen, we gotta go. Uh, I gotta take medicine for my diabetes. Type one or two? Well, it started with just one diabetes and then, you know, left unchecked. I completely understand. Diabetes killed my mother and my older sister. Great, thanks for having us. Grandfather, brother currently. More has said, with every goodbye, you learn. As Hemingway said, I wonder what this gun tastes like. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ted promised to be back by now. Well, what if you invited a friend over? In case you haven't noticed, Ted's my only friend. Carol said she has a son. I think he's about your age. Should I invite him over? What the fuck? No. I think I'll call Carol. Did... N n mm. Susan! The glass came off. It's leaking again. Ah! Uh. Johnny, meet me in the bathroom with a t-shirt you don't wear. 
Nothing with a decal. <sighs> Happy Halloween. Fucking watch the road. That was a red light. I see it. I just I I choose not to let it define me. Pull over. Oh my God, Ted. The other one was chugging wine with that that professor of literature. Yeah. What are you? A deadbeat teddy bear with a drug problem. Hey, at least I have a drug problem. Wait, what? Sorry, fuck. I'm, I'm really fucked up, man. Great. Well, you know, maybe then you can acknowledge the fact that you have no idea what you're talking about. Look, will you just shut up and drive? Oh, God. You're driving! Mm, God, this shit makes me so on edge. Oh, no. Okay, that was a red light. No shit. John, this is Will, the boy. Oh, what, um. Yo, yo, yo. Uh -huh. Seems a little bit older than what she was saying. I'll take a lamb chop, though. If you got one, just get it going. I'll take it. It's... So, what do you want to do? How old are you? 38. Live mm -hmm. with my mom by choice. Uh huh. A little bit about myself. You all right? I work in quality control at General Mills. I inspect every batch of breakfast cereal. I'm the last line of defense between your mouth and rat feces. I, I hope you're good at your job. Thank you for oh, your no, service. Stop eating cereal. What else is that? I own every Steely Dan album. I'm an expert dungeon master. I dabble in animal husbandry. I guess what I'm trying to say, John. What the hell is that? <laughs> you want a Zima? A Z no, I'm, I'm good. You want to look at some porn? You got porn? Fuck yeah, I got porn. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, what the you shit? Drawings. Is that Winona Ryder fucking lying up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I doubt she's done fish in real life. But... Well, what'd they say? Uh, they said phone is for employees only. Also, get the fuck out of the kitchen, you drunk. Shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm still eating apple pie. Careful, McDonald's apple pies are always a little hot. No! Ah! Jeez, you God, just said it. <sighs> Probably cooled off by now, though. <laughs> oh, God, God. Dude, that is. <gasps> That's me and pizza rolls, man. Hello? Will you accept a collect call from. No. <laughs> oh my God. Maddie, I mean, it's a collect call. We weren't allowed to answer those in the in the house. Wait, have you ever seen an old man penis? It, it's like a, a melted pint of coffee ice cream. There's a sadness to it. Almost <sighs> like it remembers how it used to look. I mean, it, it, it looks like like it's trying to hide, but it's too tired. No, no, you know what it looks like? It looks <sighs> like Bert La when he took off the cowardly lion suit, but he still had the makeup on. It's... Ah, shit. Oh, what my. One you heard? I mean, that... Mmm got a VHS of rodeo deaths we could watch. There's something about real death. Just like, just turns you on, you know? Why is that for all of us? Yeah, uh, I honestly can't answer the uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm totally fucking with you. Oh, seriously though, I do have the tape. We could take off our shirts, just watch it together. No, I'm good. You know what's great? What? Crack. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use your phone? I just want to sleep in tomorrow, so I'm just gonna call in a bomb scare to my office. What the fuck is this guy? Susan, get him out of the house! Ted, why don't you and I play some billiards while I nervously await Blair's verdict? I mean, hey, I mean, he's not in there with her. All right, buddy, you and me gotta Got have a chess talk. table. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, how about I freshen your drink first? Fine. Or spike it. Oh! Whoops. <gasps> Hello, Ted. Uh, what? Uh... Oh, was he just sweeten her up to get to Ted? I want us to have a licit Congress together. You know, Blair's really into you. <laughs> it's you I want. Yeah, I, uh, I, I don't date other bears. I don't have to be a bear. I could be a pony, if you prefer, or a bird with colorful plumage and a functioning cloaca. Yeah, boy, I, you know, it just wouldn't work out. I don't care what people would think. If I could take you on my arm to faculty events, I wouldn't be embarrassed. Embarrassed? Hey, Professor, do you mind if I use your bathroom? 
Claire, He's gonna have to kill you, you now. You know, if we could just kind of keep this quiet. I have a reputation as a guy who doesn't do this. On one condition. You make Blair your research assistant. Ah, uh, that's okay, Ted. Oh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Let him play his card. Oh, and one more thing. We're gonna need your bike. <laughs> Another movie I'm, I'm, I know, but I've never seen. You wanna feel some spooky eyeballs? I'm just kidding. They just peel grapes. <laughs> oh, I'd never really hurt anyone, Johnny. <laughs> you invited him over, plus he's like 40. Well, I'm 47 and we're friends. No. Oh, I cannot believe we're taking a bath at the same time. You know, it's like we're taking a bath together. What the hell? He's the one been tying up their phone line. Who just comes over to somebody's house and gets in their tub? Oh, making the most out of life. Some people wait for an invite to the party. When I started, you gotta grab every chance you can to make your own happiness. Why is the water black? What the? Carpe diem. When you see a chance to turn your day around, grab it! Huh. No, seriously, what the hell did you do to the tub? You ever need me, you scratch my name into your arm. And you'll show up? Oh, no. Never tried it. Yeah, go. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus. Listen, I felt really bad about Clementine giving you that bite, and I wanted to make it up to you. Good Eggs, God. Each one's about 24 chicken eggs. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? I don't know 24 people. Carpe diem, Johnny. Carpe diem. Now those are some big eggs you could throw at some kids. Hey, nice robot costume. Those are the boxes your dad used to move out? Oh hey, my you, god. My Batman. Oh! <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Olympic figure skater Scott Hamilton. Oh man, you're gonna have enough trouble. Keep oh, going. Oh, <laughs> oh, hey, E.T., take this, you racist nope. piece of shit. Oh! Oh my god! Is this what we've been doing to people? We were wrong, Johnny! We were wrong! No. Oh. Hey, listen, man, I'm really Learned sorry a lesson in the end. Time. It was kind of nice to see if I could actually have fun on my own. That sounds healthy. Like growth. So how was your night? Uh, I was almost by a professor, but now I got a moped, so it's fine. <laughs> now that we know for sure that we can exist on our own, let's never <gasps> do it again. Oh, fuck no, I was dying out there. Do you want to get high? Absolutely. Wait. No. Not yet. There's one more thing I got to do tonight. Oh. He's going to get her with the, the blindfold, the spooky ghost thing. <laughs> you. Hey, you know, Blair, uh, there actually is something I uh, I came here to tell you. You know, me and Charlie <sighs> always think you're like this buzzkill, but tonight was kind of fun. You're kind of fucking fun. Oh, well, I've got to admit, I, I kind of had fun, too. I mean, the towing cost me 80 bucks, and I still don't have a fucking car, but for what it's worth. That sounds pretty cheap for a tow. Well... It's the 90s. Never mind. Inflation's a bitch. This is for you. It's somehow still gonna be hot. I've had it in the freezer for two months, so it's probably cooled off by now. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Get something to We're all gonna die! Nice. Hey, I'm Carol's son. I just got home from a party. My mom. Wait, who the fuck was that guy then? Wait, you're Carol's son? What the fuck? Just what the hell? Who is who is that creep? Who? <laughs> My God, man, that guy should probably be in prison. Somebody needs to catch that guy. Find him. Get him. Lock him up. Get him out of here. That was an insane little twist. Holy <laughs> shit! Again, I like the sitcom vibe of it all. You know, we have our holiday episodes. We have all this fun little, these little situations that everybody gets themselves into and just the absurd comedy of it all. It's just so fucking fun, man. And then that whole twist and turn on the, the predatory professor. At the end of the day, the dude just wanted to bang Ted. Good play, good play. I love that every episode we have, a, a t we're, we're dressing Ted up like he's a damn Build-A-Bear. I don't know what else to say about this show at this point. You know, this one, I, I feel like a lot of, 
my commentary, my my additions to it, I kind of sprinkled in throughout, you know, got the little story about my first outing, drinking with the with coworkers and how that went a little awry. Also, and just on top of that, you know, I was never a, a party kid in college or anything like that. So I never went out and did anything like that. It was again, like I didn't drink uh, f officially. You know, I had sips of stuff throughout my life and all that, but I never I never even felt a buzz or anything until I was uh, like 28. There was a long haul. You know, I, I talk about this in one of my other reactions. I, I My family ran a nightclub for like eight, 10 years. I worked there for like eight of those. It really deterred me for a really long time from ever touching the shit. And it wasn't really until like later when I, I really started to to loosen up that that one time, the first time I went out with a group at all, it was a bunch of co-workers. We had a designated DD, it was not me, but guess who ended up being the one that had to do everything by the end of it? Once we got there, it was fun, it was light, it was playful, it was fun, we were having a good time. It started off with that one, it's like, oh, I'll just have one. I'll just have another. And that guy was so far gone it just eclipsed the rest of us. And it was just a crazy night on top of it. One of the other guys pre-game before we even went out and he, like within 10 minutes of us arriving the place, he spent the entire run of the, our, our stay there in the restroom, throwing up. <laughs> One guy got drunk, walked down the street and we had to go find him. Like he ended up down at some other person's house that was next to one of the gas stations trying to find us when we never even left the place. <laughs> like it was insane. And then when we were finally, you know, comes time to go, again, our DD was drunk as shit. Would not get away from the driver's side. It did nothing but infuriate me. I went from having a good, nice buzz to being like, I could fucking snipe some shit if you gave me like a rifle or something, man. I was so just snapped out of it and focused because I was so goddamn pissed off that he just wouldn't back down. He was insistent. He would not give the keys up to anybody else. He would not get out of the front seat. It took about an hour of us not letting him leave to finally get him to get in the fucking back. God, that was such a frustrating night. Anyway, I'm happy just drinking at home. I'll, I'll have a little sip. I'll have my weekend little whining sessions with you guys. And that's that's pretty much where it ends right now. God damn it, man. Anyway, that's my little anecdote for the for the episode. I another fantastic one, man. This, this show is hilarious. I and like I I thought I had kind of gotten numb to Seth MacFarlane's sense of humor, you know, like I had watched just so much Family Guy growing up and like after a while, it just stopped hitting for me. And this does kind of have a very similar delivery mechanism in the way that a lot of the, the scenes are structured and the jokes themselves. But something about this, it just, it just has really kind of reinvigorated and reignited a lot of that love for this. It just feels fresh. Something about it feels like there's something behind it that was lost a long time ago in my eyes and some of uh, Seth MacFarlane's other work. And I don't know if that's just me becoming disenchanted with it, getting used to the setups and getting used to everything. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what makes this one stand out. I can't really put my finger on it, but just something about the premise and you know, the pairing of these two, the whole concept of Ted, the sitcom structure, as well as them making this TVMA. I don't know, maybe it's just the perfect concoction or maybe I've just been away from it so long, it's working again. I'm not exactly sure, but these four episodes have been fucking hilarious. But guys, what did you all think? How do you feel about this one? Sound off the comments, let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if I got a member of the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before you go, I want to shout out to Channel Legends, Benny Sherrod, Ryan Karen, your course got Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, JoJo, and Russell Crockett. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.